So, what's up everyone, my name's Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thanks to the guys over at Thermaltake, we're taking a look at the TT eSport by Thermaltake Talon V2 gaming mouse. So, the Talon V2, as you can see, is a V2, so it is a refresh of the original Talon mouse. And what this is, it's a budget gaming mouse. I must say, sorry for my thumb, I've taken a chunk out of it. But, the Talon V2 is quite a basic mouse, really. It's a nice, lightweight, all plastic mouse with a few little extras. So it does come in just a little box, list the basic features of it. Um, it is RGB, it's got a 3200 dpi optical sensor and apparently it is rated for 32 million clicks. Quite how they come up with these durability factors, never entirely sure, nobody sits there. I know they use machines to sit there and click it millions of times. but. Basically, it's just a nice little mouse. It is powered by an Avago 3050 optical sensor, if that means anything to you. But what it means is an optical mouse, not a laser mouse. It's got a red light. So the mouse itself, start off with, it is attached to a six foot braided cable. There is a sort of, it's called a ferrule on the end near the plug. That is to stop any interference. But overall, it's a nice braided cable. It's a little bit on the stiff side. I do prefer a much more flexible cable personally, but I didn't find it caused any interference with getting snagged or anything like that. Now, the mouse itself, although not technically an ambidextrous left or right-handed mouse, because the buttons are on one side, it is a symmetrical mouse. So lefties, if you're looking for a cheap option, this might suit you. Um, so we'll go through the buttons to start off with. The obvious left and right click, left and right, clicks are there. We do have a DPI button on the top. We do have a scroll wheel that clicks in. We've also got left and or forwards and backwards buttons on the side. Now, as you saw then, the DPI button changes the DPI. Obviously, the color does also change with it at the same time. But what you can do if you want to then choose a color is you press and hold the button on the side. Okay. And then you press the DPI button and then they change independently. So the mouse itself is it's quite small, it's very light, it is an all plastic design, plastic base, the lot. Okay, coming in at around about 92 grams or 90 grams ish. There's no official weights, I stuck it on a kitchen scale, digital kitchen scales to weigh it. Um, and overall, it, it took a little bit of getting used to for me. I am used to like a Razer Naga Trinity, a much heavier mouse and also a much bigger mouse. This is quite small. I don't have massive hands and I can sort of encompass the entire mouse. So if you're the sort of person that likes to palm a mouse um, or big sweeping movements or anything like that, I do always say that with mice, try, if you can, go to a shop and get hold of it and stick it in your hands just to see what it feels like to you. Mice and keyboards are very, very personal items. What some person may love, another person may hate. So we've got our quite basic mouse design. There's not a lot going on with it. But, I haven't mentioned this yet, this mouse comes in at about 22 quid. Now bearing in mind this is from a named brand, okay, TT Esports by Thermal Day. TT Esports are sort of the, um, I think they used to be the main peripheral part of Thermal Tape, but they've now branched out a lot with like the level 20 stuff under the Thermal Tape brand as well. But TT Esports is basically the main peripheral brand of Thermal Tape, so it is an all Thermal Tape product. So, Taking another quick look back around the outside, the RGB on it, as you can see, there's effectively four main areas. Okay, we've got the sort of, I think it's like a, meant to be like a dragon logo on the back. We do have the scroll wheel, which does illuminate. And we do have what effectively look like some gills on the side. I quite liked the design actually of the RGB. It's subtle enough that you can have it sitting there, um, but it's also enough to be just a little bit of extra. Um, and it's not just stuck in strobe. You can choose what you fancy and it will sort of sit there. And you can set it to whatever you like. Now there is no software control when it comes to the buttons or the RGB or anything like that. It is just a basic sort of left, right, forwards, backwards button set that set up. RGB all done by pressing, again, pressing the buttons. But overall I thought actually it's quite nice. It is very light, but it is very well built. There's no creaking or anything like that. Because I've had some really cheap 
gaming mice from off-brand Chinese things coming from China before now, and like you, 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 you just put them in your hand and it, it feels cheap. If it wasn't for the weight, the weight makes this feel a little bit cheaper than it is. I'm not used to light mice. I must admit, I do like a heavy mouse. But this, after I got used to it, it, it at no point did it feel cheap. There's no sort of sharp or unfinished edges or anything like that. Um, all, all, all done and told, I think Thermal Tech have actually done quite a nice job with this. So this is just a quick little video today because it's not a massive amount I can say about quite a basic mouse. But I will say this, if you're on the, in the market for a budget gaming mouse and rather than going for an off-brand thing that possibly offers more features, take a look at this. It is cheap. I'm going to put some links down below as to where you can buy one. But it is cheap. It is well made. And it's come from a reputable brand where you've got a decent warranty. If you ever have any issues, you can just send it back and they will sort it out. You haven't got to worry about sending it back to China where it's cost you more to post it back than the item cost or anything like that. Um, and yeah, I actually really liked it. Like I said, mice are personal. Do go and try it. But overall, I'm very impressed. I don't think at £22 you can really get anything really better or really you can't really go wrong with it either so that's about it for today it is just a quick video um but if you've liked it give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down not a problem as always if you've got any questions or suggestions or anything leave it in the comment section down below i always try and take the time to go through all your, your comments and answer any questions and things like that if you want to see more of me don't forget click the subscribe button click the little notification bell and i will be back the same time next week. So I am here 6pm British time every Saturday. On that note guys, thank you very much and bye for now.